make a quick video here as a sort of reference for people working on the compiler just to see how it looks and even this is in fact for me so I don't ever forget this stuff so what I do here is I have VS code which I'm using for my debugger which is um, a good option right now on Mac if you're not using Lazarus which I don't really prefer so the first thing we're going to look at here is how we build the compiler and what the compiler does here is that gives us these these uh, Lazarus project files I believe they're called whoops like this so we can um, we can open this up can we whoops didn't copy that right did I oh copy there we go actually you know what let's um yeah let's open that anyways let's see how this looks so we're going to find um, this file right here you can look at this. This is just a Lazarus project file. These are this is one that I renamed and added some um, debugging information into it. But this was just in some other flags for Mac OS stuff. But this file is normally provided with this name without the without my name as the prefix on it. So, anyways, in in uh, this file here, this tasks.json file in VS Code, we can supply a a build command, and all this is going to do is run las build on that project file. And then that will um, build as we would expect. So we can see here, you can see this thing, the building output at the bottom running there. We can do a, uh, here we go, let's make a little syntax error to see how that looks. So there we go, we get some, get some error detection stuff going on. Okay, so anyways, we're going to start from this position. And now we're going to look at a, a small bug in generic constants which I just found and it's and I wanted to fix today so I decided this was a good time to make a little video to record the process so here we have a string type in this class and this is a generic constant so what happens here with this bug is that we can um, run the debugger on it right so oh I should have shown that first so this is the huh, this was the actual compiler that we built with that, with that last command I think you can yeah you can see it down here so this is just going to run the, the debugger with these flags to it. And this is the file name for the program we're going to be testing. And this is going to run these as LLDB and we will get our little debug interface. So what this is going to do is we're going to run our test program, which is failing. And this is going to then, because we built the compiler with uh, debug information on, we can get breakpoints here to go to where uh, this is crashing. So I had some breakpoints in here earlier. I will uh, leave those on for now. Why not Let's look past here? So here we go. Here's our error, which we're seeing. And um, so we can look back here in the stack now and find out that we're in the, um, where are we? String declaration. Okay, so here's this last point where this is crashing on us so we can see down here that we're in a uh, this is reading a declaration block some type declarations reading a named type right here we can see here's our object declaration which is this class itself we can go into parse object members so here we're going into the to the members of the class which are it's going to include this field here's another type declaration reading another named type, a single type, so we're into this uh, string type here, you can see. Then we go into the string declaration function and we get to this point here where it says the const node value is less than less than zero. And um, we can't actually see the value here because it's not it's not typecast. But um, yeah, so that, so it's, it thinks, the compiler thinks that the value of this constant is less than zero. Which doesn't make sense. This is an un. I, I don't. I don't know exactly what that value was set at when it was created. It may just be garbage memory at this point. But anyways, it shouldn't check the range. That's not what we want. So what I did previously is I just added this small block in here, which says that if if we if the parser is currently parsing a generic definition, which is this generic class definition right here. And the uh, generic definition is not a specialization, right? 
that would be if if we were um, parsing a specialization, what would happen is we would we would get to this line here, and then the parser would replay the tokens of this generic up here, but it would replace the uh, this parameter with this uh, constant node basically, and that's fine. We we want that actual constant to flow through as normal. So we say we're not, and if it's not a specialization, and if this um, this flag is set right here, this generic para flag, and that is set for all of the nodes, which are these uh, generic para uh, generic constant parameters, I guess they're called. And um, yeah, so then what all that does is just sets the value to 255, which is consistent with the flow of these other blocks. I guess I'm just going to keep that consistent as it is, and that will allow it to um, to not trigger any of these other conditions and just fall through. Which is fine because the value is not actually ever used. It's just a uh, it's a dummy essentially. So that would um, uh, yeah that about covers that. So we're gonna do now. We can stop the debugger. We can oh what did I do? Did I just press the wrong key? I was on a different keyboard earlier today and um, got my keys all mixed up. Okay, save that. We're going to run it again. We're going to that's building the compiler. We have no errors into it. Which is nice. So now we can run the code again, run the example pro program, and this may, I still have a bunch of breakpoints still open for when I was actually looking at how to analyze this later, earlier, I should say. So anyways, let's just step through, step through again, let's get to the end. Okay, there we go, it terminates safely. So that was I, that, that was a, f a fix. We didn't get any errors with, um, with this either. Which, by the way, I could have had this to be 2,000. We would have also, and we would have gotten in there because 200 is beyond the 255 range that these constants, these uh, string types allow anyways. So what I do then is I have a, have a notes file because I can never remember this stuff. So what I do is I now need to make a patch of what I have here. So we are seeded into this into the uh, compiler directory. This is this is the top level for the compiler, right? From from Git. So then I run this command, and this will that will produce my patch. I can open this, and now let's open up our uh, patch file. There we go. Here's our here's our final patch for that. And um, yeah, that's a very brief overview of what the what the process looks like. You build a compiler, start out with just slads building one of these project files. Make sure you have the debug information on, which I have right here, so we can get breakpoints. And then uh, start with an example program. And if you're curious where anything in the program happens, just go, you know, just go put a put a syntax error someplace like that. And um, and then run the program. You'll get taken to um, taken to the point where the compiler failed, and then you have to just step backwards, put a ton of breakpoints in everywhere, and uh, yeah, that's how it goes. Okay, thank you.